Although children don't realize it, and we may not either, much of their talk involves math and measurement. Think about it. You'll often hear them saying things like, my truck was the fastest. That Lego tower is bigger. How tall is that building? How many is both a quantitative concept and a way for children to understand measurement, whether we're talking about measuring time, distance, or length. So here are some games you can use to make measurement both fun and relevant for young kids. Children have an innate curiosity that causes them to want to figure things out. What they'll be figuring out here through counting is the measurement of time. Give each child a chiffon scarf or paper towel square. Invite each child to toss his or her scarf into the air and to count aloud to determine how long it takes for the scarf to float down to the floor. Encourage the children to try it several times. Does it always take the same amount of time? Does it make a difference if they toss, toss the scarf higher? Later, to also include a lesson in science and gravity, you can suggest that the children try the same experiment with both a lightweight ball, like a beach ball or a foam ball, and a heavy one, like a playground ball. Which of the three items, the scarf, the lightweight ball, or the heavy ball, comes down the fastest or slowest? Why do they think that is? Similar to the previous activity, a game called How Many Claps uses even more senses to help children count and measure time. You'll need one small soft foam ball for each child. Then spread the children throughout the room or playground. Give each child a ball. Ask the children to throw their ball into the air and see how many times they can clap before it comes back down to the ground. They should count aloud as they clap. When the children are developmentally ready to catch, they can do the same activity, but this time counting how many times they can clap before catching the ball. Young kids, of course, are not developmentally ready for abstract thinking, which is typically, typically required when measuring with rulers and tape measures. But measuring with their own hands? Now that's something they can get into. Invite the children to sit scattered on the floor with their legs straight out in front of them. Ask them to place one hand at the top of a knee. Walking their hands alternately down their legs, how many hands is it from the knee to the toes? You may have to demonstrate this for them. How many hands is it from the hips to the toes? When the children are ready, a more challenging version of this activity is to have them group themselves into pairs, with one child in each pair lying face up on the floor. The other child then walks her hands next to her partner's body from toes to head to measure his height. You can even invite the children to measure anything in the room this way. And to measure the room itself, you can line the children up side by side at one end of the room and ask them to discover how many steps it takes to get to the other end. Reassure them that there are no wrong answers. There are however many steps they find there are. To actually introduce the children to measuring with a ruler, yardstick, or measuring tape, play a game called How Long Is. Even if they can't yet determine how many inches something is, they'll be happy and proud to let you at least know that something is this long. Give each child a ruler, yardstick, or measuring tape. Then, ask the children to use their measuring tool to measure the length of their legs. You can certainly demonstrate if necessary. Once they've accomplished this task, other items to measure include the shin from knee to ankle, pointer finger, pinky finger, foot, or friend. Later, you can set the children free around the room to determine the length of any object they want to measure. They'll love the importance of this task, and if you write down their findings, it will add even more value to their work. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll share these videos on social media, and to learn more about my work, go to raypika.com, where you'll also find PDFs with the scripts and slides for the video.